Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we're going to do a quick video on a 2024 Hummer EV SUV. Special shout out to Jerry Signer Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. This is sold, but we are going to do a quick walk around before it gets picked up. Let's get into it. This is the window sticker for the Hummer we're going to be reviewing today. And this is an edition one. As far as the colors go, it is a moonshot green matte paint with a lunar shadow interior. And as far as the powertrain goes, this does have 850 horsepower, 11,500 pound feet of torque, I'm not exaggerating. And it has about a 314 mile range. As far as some of the standard equipment goes, it starts here. Be sure to pause it to see more. It has three motors. And as far as the standard vehicle price goes, it's $104,000. And that spare tire cover was $695. And total MSRP with destination for $1595 is $106,290. And here's some of the fuel economy information here if you'd like to pause it. So here's the front end of the Hummer. It does have full LED headlights and check out the design. It's pretty similar to what you've seen on the truck. Full LED. And then check out the cutout on the front bumper too. Really wide tires and skid plate down below. Independent front suspension. And these tow hooks are huge. You have like this dark color here with the green, with the matte paint, front camera, and you can pop the frunk up here too. Wow. It's decently big too. You have a light in here. Love this matte paint too. Now let's see if you have to push the button again to put it back down. Yep, you just push the button down there to drop it back. Three windshield wipers. And you have some clearance lights up top here because of how wide it is too. You have some painted fender flares. And check out these massive wheels too. 22 inch, wrapped in a Goodyear Wrangler Territory AT. And notice like the little H's in the wheels too. Really nice setup here, eight lug. And this is gonna be a 305 55 22. It's gonna be a plastic material inside of here. Air suspension. Running boards down below too. And I hear the mirrors on the side. Sorry about the darkness here. And they do have a smart key system on the front and rear doors. Black roof. Wow. And here are the tail lights. Really good design. And they kind of skip over here. You do have your charging area here. Parking sensors down below. I like the cutouts they do down here as well. And look how meaty those control arms are. It looks like aluminum. Class four receiving hitch. Here's a button and check this out. It's really cool. It says Hummer EV on the back of it here. Tow hook down below. And check how big this cargo area is. 
This is gonna be like a rubber, actually, yeah, this is a hard rubber floor. A little bit of storage down below here. Also on the side. Tie downs. Wow, and you can drop the seats from back here too. And they hide your jack inside of here. I think this is the biggest jack I've seen so far. Shark fin above. And if you want to close the tailgate again, that's all you gotta do. Backup camera is down below. And just notice how massive this tire cover is, huge. Oh, by the way too, you do have your camera inputs if you play on towing a trailer and your seven pin. I have Tanner here at Jerry Signer, and he's gonna go over some of the features of this, but quick question. In terms mm -hmm. of like the EV, I guess, powertrain, or electric train, if you wanna call it, Yeah. what kind of batteries does this have, things like that? Yeah, so uh, GM's actually came out with some really cool new technology. Um, they've devised all their, so you know, Cadillacs, Chevys, all, all of their new vehicles are, are coming out with this modular design. So depending on the size of the vehicle and whatnot, the modulars and cells, you know, change a little bit. But here in this SUV, we have a 20 modular system. So it's actually double stacked into the frame, helps the structure of it. And, and the, the big benefit of that is say you have one cell go bad, mm -hmm. the dealership here can take out one of those modules mm -hmm. and ship it to the factory and they can replace the one cell. So it helps on costs and and, and things like that nice. keeps the the maintenance costs a little bit lower you know unlike you know some other batteries that that you know they go out and you have to replace the whole thing <laughs> so super nice there gm is is very innovative in this new ev and you know ev technology and they're really trying to make strides to to make it better all of your your systems and everything are going to run off of that battery um big display here kind of following tesla with making the the ipad dashes <laughs> stuff like that but that's kind of how everything's going and then yeah you got the uh, the infotainment center there that's uh that's you know super big bad all that sort of stuff all the displays are actually uh, uh designed by epic games so mm -hmm. um you know big really game, i didn't know that yeah, big, okay big game manufacturer so all of this can actually change and update over the air gm's made sure that that these vehicles are going to be able to uh to, to last time um and especially with you know with the price tag of of over 100 on both the trucks and the suvs yeah uh, they want to make sure that their customers are, are getting you know their money's worth so we, we pulled these cameras up right here. So you got your HD surround vision. Um, that's gonna be you know standard in most of our uh, new GM vehicles. Um, front facing, rear facing, some computer generated ones is great for going through the car wash. You know, you got those lines, <laughs> see where your wheels are going, especially with being as wide as these are. They're, True. they're wider than an HD truck. So that's quite helpful. You can view your wheels, front and rear wheels. So super nice there. Turn on and off your HD surround vision. And then you got some different trailering modes there for you. The uh, the vehicle has an off-road mode. You'll have cameras, so uh, you know you can pull them back up in there. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have your uh, your gyroscope, so whether you're leaning, you know, forwards, backwards, left, right, that sort awesome. of stuff. You know, your percentage of tilt, all, everything like that. And, you know, your compass. So tons of uh, really great features in there. Um, you'll have some auxiliary plugs, so you can actually get some lights to go up in the top for off okay. off-roading. Um, you know, and, and turn those on through the display. This thing's going to be in the, uh, a beast on road and off road. And does um, this have the crab mode too? Yep, you'll have crab walk. Um, so your wheels will actually turn to the side and move the same direction. <laughs> and then it'll have four wheel steering. So it actually will turn just as tight as a GMC terrain because wow. of that four wheel steering. So I've been on the track with this a, a couple times. You'll have the watts to freedom mm -hmm. mode, which, you know, you engage it. It's basically like launch control mm -hmm. and you go zero to 60 in just over three seconds, wow. which for a vehicle that weighs as much as these do, <laughs> It's a yes. crazy feeling to, to go that fast. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, I mean, those are probably the main points as far as this display goes. Obviously, you got the heated, cooled seats, all your, you know, creature comforts that mm -hmm. you're used to. You know, you control your climate and everything like that from the display. It's uh, 
a lot, lot of great features in here. Heated steering wheel, mm -hmm. um, and a big one that a lot of people are a fan of is the Super Cruise. So um, you activate that over here, just like your regular cruise control, but it's gonna drive for you, lane change for you. you nice. Know, you can take your hands off the steering wheel, and as long as you're focused on the road, you're uh, you're good to go. Nice. So. Yeah, like I said, this has like a lot of different things. Like I do like the fact that they have the split screen too, so you can really see multiple things on this system here. And this is gonna give you more prompts too. Yeah, and it's it's split into three sections, kind of is how they you know go over everything. Right here is gonna be your hot bar, and you can actually drag and drop um, That's nice. all, all that information. You can decide what you want on here. You know, if you want your settings in the hot bar, or if you just want your phone in the hot bar, mm -hmm. you can control that. You can organize this screen right here. To, you know, choose what you want in there, and you know, scroll around that way. And then yeah, you'll have your other one over here. So you could have your maps up at the same time and also have your music playing and, nice. and, or your trailer and that sort of stuff. So tons of Bose speakers in this, I believe 12 Bose speakers that you can listen to. It makes for really good sound quality and yeah. Yeah, well again, thank you Taylor so much for your help. So no if, worries, you, if you are in the market, if you like to order one or if you like to order a GMC Buick or buy a used car, Tanner works here in South Jordan, Utah. Be sure to give him a look up. What's your cell phone number? 385-229-9675. There it is, guys. Be sure to reach out to him if you have any questions. Sweet. Thanks. Absolutely. Now, this is going to be the door card for the Hummer EV. I do like the overall design. Like, check this out. Really nice attention detail. It says Bose. A little bit of storage in the door pocket here. And you have, like, this bronze color. You also have it on this handle to close the door around the air vents, too. And then polished aluminum for the door handle. Should have just made all that the same color personally, but we won't be picky. Door locks, seat memories, window controls, and you can automatically close these mirrors. They are heated. So here's the door card out back. And something that someone mentioned to me was this bronze here is only for the addition ones. Seat back pocket. And this is actually surprisingly big. I mean, a lot of headspace. Now, these seats back here do not recline, but they're already like in a recline position. So you're pretty much comfortable right out of the gate. And there's a lot of space between me and the, you know, the center passenger here. So this is pretty wide and you can see that and feel that inside. Now let's go ahead and listen to the door when it closes. Sounds pretty good. Down below, you have a single zone climate control, outboard heated seats, two USBs, and air vents down below. There is no hump in the center. So yeah, this definitely does feel pretty darn big. So here are the numbers for this Hummer SUV. So the gross axle weight rating up front is going to be 5,070 pounds. The rear is going to be 5,730. And then this has a gross fuel weight rating of 9,990 pounds. And look how wide these wheels are, 22 by nine and a half. So you can get a meaty tire on this rig. And then for the trailering information is right there. 7,500 pound towing capacity, 750 pound tongue weight. And this has a payload of 1,177 pounds. So this thing weighs right now on the curb, 8,813 pounds. That is heavy.